What up fam? It's Tuesday and I look perfectly normal. This is what I do sometimes when I get out of the shower and I don't feel like doing all of my skincare yet. I'll just, can you not? I'll just kill some time by doing a mask. Wow, in the light, that looks insane. And if you're thinking, wow Khaki, I never thought that you would have a spa headband that matched your robe. You must be new here. I don't know what the dog is whining about. I just took him to the park. I also went for a run. I'm about to start fixing some dinner. So today's a very special day, guys, and not just because I'm having a caprese salad for dinner. No, no. <laughs> Earlier today, I was walking back from a lovely lunch with my coworker Bex, and I reloaded on my phone, and I saw that I had just hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. That is awesome. You guys are awesome. I'm going to make a caprese salad. So I'm going to show you guys how to make a caprese salad, at least the way I do. Step one is uh, actually to turn on chopped. I reduce this balsamic vinegar of Modena. Sure. With some coconut sugar. I'm gonna take a little pot. Gotta remember it's gonna reduce, so. Come on, baby. We throw in some cane sugar with my hand. Now, not cane sugar, Jesus khaki, some coconut sugar. Keep in mind, coconut sugar is way less sweet than regular sugar. So you can use a little bit more. I don't know how to help you. What do you need, sweetheart? What do you need? Oh, I'm gonna lick my butthole about it. So we're gonna start with some olive oil. Do do do, because this is just for one. Normally I would make this a lot bigger if it was for two. And that's some champagne, well, Prosecco wine vinegar. And then I'm gonna go with some salt and pepper, and then I'm going to use this as a binder slash emulsifier. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, and I cut up some tomatoes, fresh mozzarella, and then I pulled some basil off of our beautiful basil plant over here. I'm gonna chiffonade that all up as much as you can chiffonade something with a serrated knife, but you know. All right, so I've dressed this salad. We got this beautiful bed of lettuce here. We just basically go in with all these little guys. Just, you know. I topped it off with a little bit of salt and pepper. Our gorgeous reduction here. And we just drizzle her over the top. Oh, yes. And that, ladies and mostly ladies, is my dinner tonight. Oh, and I took that other mask off and put it on a different mask, so. I have the Summer Fridays mask on now. They call it multi-masking, okay? What do you have? Um, I have a chocolate buttercreme with a little bit of grapefruit and coffee gelée on top. With some stevia vinegar, some croutons, uh, tossed with some sugar and rosemary and grapefruit zest. This is very creative, very creative. Morning. It is just shy of 7 a.m. I recently have taken to having my coffee wake me up in the morning. <laughs> the only problem is it wakes up all the animals as soon as the coffee maker starts. Bruce wants to go outside and Per Monster wants to drink out of the faucet and Ollie's asleep, God bless him. Yeah, I end up having to get up anyway. <laughs> Mike gets back very late tonight. I won't see him till tomorrow morning. He's been out at the big Google conference, so. I feel like on these vlogs, a lot of times he's traveling, but that's like not really usually the case. He doesn't travel for work usually, but he's also like not my videos very much because he's so bad at being in my videos. Oh, he's so bad at it, it's so funny. Uh, but also, not that you guys would ever say anything, because I know you guys and I love you guys. Were a video to ever reach like a larger audience or something like that, um, I would never want to subject him to that. People say terrible things. I don't, I don't need anybody's opinion on my, the love of my life. <laughs> Especially not the internet. <laughs> Good morning, holy crap. How cute are you? Who's a good boy? He's so sweet. Oh, good morning. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Quick little outfit of the day. Uh, this is kind of my uniform when I don't feel like ironing. This shirt is from ASOS and I have it in black and in regular blue denim. I actually bothered to like do my makeup and flat iron my hair this morning. I don't know why. <laughs> Okay, now I have to make sure all of the animals are in the house. I just saw Per Monster. That's Ollie. Bruce? Oh, 
Oh, yeah, okay, he's in the yard. Oh, it's so, oh my God, it's freaking horrible outside. Why are you being so weird? Come on. Meep, meep. <laughs> Dude, it's so stinking hot. I might change my shirt. Come on. Why are you like this? Wet. You're wet, little sack of potatoes. <sighs> okay, I don't think this shirt's gonna work. I just threw on a t-shirt. I gotta go. Oh my gosh. Hi, buddies. Hi, I need your mama. Dude, where's my dad? He gets home tonight. Hello, <laughs> I'm home from work. I wanna show you guys one thing, and that is I just put this video up today about all of the foundations that I recommend for hot weather. This is a full day of wearing the Id Cosmetics Would You Please Calm Yourself? And yes, it rubs off, but I don't look like a fool. Makeup always looks stupid under my glasses. But like, I don't know. I mean, in 100 degree weather, I'm hard pressed to ask for much more. I have a bunch of packages on the front doorstep. I think one of them might be a wedding gift. <gasps> oh my God. Ah, this is a huge, it's just poof on it. So I know that it is a poof from Crate and Barrel or CB2, CB2 that I wanted. Also a forecast of what to expect I know that I have a Nordstrom package coming soon with a bunch of Charlotte Tilbury stuff. I've never tried any Charlotte Tilbury stuff. I also got all this e.l.f. stuff and some of these are these like foundation adjusters for like shade matching. I got this because it is, it looks like a dupe for the 27 palette and it was like 10 bucks. I got some highlighting powder, either way. That's really fun. I also got a bunch of stuff from Sephora. A couple, a couple of stories here having to do with Sephora. So let's see what this one is. Cause I got two Sephora packages at the same time. What is this? They put the subculture palette from ABH on 50% off as $21 for like a day. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I just want to try it and see if it's as like crazy and terrible as everybody says, everybody says that it is. I also wanted to try the new Born This Way foundation. I'm not sure if this is actually new or if the new shades are like in partnership with Jackie Ina. I'm not sure, but I've never tried the Born This Way foundation. So I want to try that. And then I also got the Zodiac uh, Current Bite Beauty Amuse-Bouche lipstick. So this is in cancer because we're in cancer season right now. We have the new Fenty Beauty eyeshadow palette. Those colors don't really excite me that much, but we'll see. Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. The uh, the Gloss Bomb. I figured I'd like the Gloss Bomb no matter what. That's what's coming up soon on my channel. Also, uh, like I said, I've got some Charlotte Tilbury coming and I ordered the new Natasha I ordered the new Natasha Denona highlighter today that just came out on Beautylish, so. I'm going to change clothes. I smell terrible because I've been, you know, existing in Austin, Texas all day. And I'm going to take my doggo to the parko. I just want to call attention to the fact this guy never gets up here. This is Bruce's spot. Like you have to jump from there to there and up here, and now that he finally made it up here, he is feeling himself. Are you feeling yourself? Well, good. I'm really glad that you found a sock, sweetheart. I love you. That sock is gone. It's going down. The sock is gonna go behind the dresser. Yes, it is. Bye, sock. <laughs> what happened to your sock? Good news, there's another. Yeah, and that one's going down too. Yep, bye sock. How'd you get it hooked around your paw? He actually has it hooked around his paw right there. Well, it doesn't seem to matter because it's gone now. <laughs> yeah, your socks are gone, buddy. They're all the way on the floor. They're all the way on the floor. How'd you do that? How did that happen, huh? See, I was just loving on them and then they were gone. Good morning. Mike is home. He got home at like 1.30 in the morning last night, but I honestly hadn't been slumbering for that long because I was editing until like 11.30 last night, which is very unusual for me. I just wanted to get my editing done before Mike got back. <laughs> it's just my Friday video. Um, I'm really excited about my Friday video. Of course, you'll have already seen it by now. Look who's running five minutes ahead of schedule. 
Yeah, this is my OOTD today. I'm kind of a uh, safari khaki. I'm wearing these phenomenal earrings. These are some wolf teeth suspended in some kind of hardware situation. This kid, French train hopper kid I knew in Kansas City would make these kinds of things to make some money for his travels. I think I paid $25 for these, so. I don't know if I believe him, but apparently these are wolf teeth. Hi. I'm home from work, I'm exhausted, and I feel really just uncomfortable, and I wanna change clothes, but I wanna show you guys, we got more stuff from our wedding registry. Of course there's Mike. Hi guys! So anyway, I just got a bunch of stuff in the mail, and uh, one of the packages was from ASOS. It's a couple of dresses that are like, I think, you know, candidates to wear to a wedding. There's this one, and I really like it, but is it too big? I think it might be too big. It's like a little bit kind of like low on the shoulders, but I, I'm scared that if I got it any smaller, because this is a four, I think I could probably do a two, but I think a two would be pretty short. I mean, it's definitely a lot of dress, but I'm also like not a shrinking violet, so. I love these sleeves. They are really awesome. I don't know, I mean, it all comes two day delivery. Maybe I'll just order the next smaller size. Mm, that's as open you last. Okay. That's not good. What's not good? The coffee maker. <gasps> Cause your mom warned me. She's like, you have two registries. Macy's fucking played us. Let me show you guys the other dress real quick. So this is the other dress. I'm not sure whether it's amazing or a nightmare. I mean, these straps are adjustable. I need to get back there and do so. <laughs> Actually adjust them, but it feels weirder than I thought it would. Is this supposed to go like that? The darts and the boobs are in the, like, the wrong place. I think that I have too big a size in this too. I think I might just send both of these back and get the next smaller size. Good thing ASOS makes that really easy. <laughs> Okay, so I changed back into a new situation, which you guys have seen a million times. This is my best knock around dress. I want to open this poop. Ooh! Oh, she's so cute. Huh? What? Oh, she. You said she. Yeah. The poop is a she. Are you. Do, would you want to go or did you want to not go? What? Did you want to go? Go where? I thought we were going to Tillery. Yeah, I know. You started doing other things. But yeah, let's No, go. I didn't. I just vlogged because I changed clothes. Have to have continuity. So this is my stuff from Nordstrom. We have the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. We have the Light Wonder Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation. So this is kind of their lightweight foundation and their full coverage foundation. And then I got myself a full size of the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer because I'm obsessed with this stuff. Then I just bought myself the right or possibly a lighter shade of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation because I want to mix it with the one that I have and actually be able to wear it when I don't have a tan. Yeah. Get a bunch of fucking pasta and that shit and call it a day. Yeah. Especially if, got a good, if the rigatoni's actually good. It is good. Good morning. It's Friday. <laughs> and it's a beautiful, beautiful morning. Oh. I hear the pitter patter of little feet running down the stairs. There's a human, hi. So I didn't finish that clip at all because Mike walked down the stairs and was not decent. So I'm going to get ready. My video just went up. I really, I think I already said this, but I really, really like this video. I never like get excited about filming an empties video. I'm always like, oh, is this kind of a cop out? And then like when I actually film it, I realize I'm like, I really care about these products that I'm using and I'm like really excited to share them. Okay, it's Friday, outfit of the day. Got some uh, kind of patty mayonnaise hair going on right now. I really like this outfit though. This is an American Apparel bodysuit that I, you know, salvaged before they totally shut down and then reopened and I have no idea whether they make this anymore. This is a Madewell skirt from years ago, but they just reissued it in gray and white. So if you are interested, this still exists, or it exists again, but this is blue if you can't tell in the camera lens, but they have it now in gray and white in a very, like very similar cut, if not exactly the same cut. But, ooh, this foundation. Yeah, guys, I love it so far. We will see how it wears over the day, but like as soon as I put it on my face, I was like, yes, Charlotte Tilbury. I, I see you, girl. Loving it so far. Got my little Jouer Balm on, which I really, really like. Yeah, I used the Urban Decay Born to Run palette on my eyes this morning, like you do. This is the look. I'm off to work, and it's Friday, and that is 
That is such a blessing. Okay, I have angry emails waiting for me, so I better go. Hey guys, it's now Friday afternoon. Normally, Friday afternoon, I'm like, yay, weekend. But man, I am so tired. I'm so tired. Like, I can't even, I don't even, I don't know. I'm like exhausted. I could have slept all day today, and I'm like so dehydrated. My mouth tastes like I've just been sucking on rocks all day. We're about to go over to our little like coffee shop cocktail spot. Doggo! Doggo! Hey doggo! I will say though, I will say though, it has been, you know, eight or nine hours. You guys, this foundation is freaking awesome. It's awesome. It's really, really good. <laughs> It's taco time for survival. I am eating an apple, but look at him. Oh, he's so happy. He's like, So this is what's known as relationship synergy. So I bought Mike this watch for his birthday a few years ago and um, it still works. It's his like fitness watch, it's a Garmin and he uses it for Strava and everything like that. But you can see the watch band has just seen better days. It's just crazy things have happened to it. We don't know. Mike is a, Mike is a crazy animal. He ordered a new watch band. He came with all of these little tools and all this little hardware and stuff. And he's like, ooh, what is this? I don't know what this is, what does this do? And I was like, dude, give it to me, I will do it, because he is very good at a lot of things, but fiddly things make him crazy, and so I was like, this would take you an hour, and you would throw it across the room, this will take me five minutes. And it's done. That took five minutes. <laughs> Bless. What time is it? I just had to plug my phone in because I literally fell asleep last night without plugging my phone in. Like at 7.18. People left me some of the cutest comments overnight. I'm a little worried about you guys in your sleep though. I went to bed at like 11.30 and then all my comments come in overnight and you guys are mostly in America. I don't know. Maybe you're not. Maybe that's not true. Yeah, I'm gonna film, gonna film this morning. <laughs> Obviously. I, you know, I don't know when this like full, full, full time like two jobs thing is going to not be my reality. I was having lunch with my friend Matt yesterday. He was like, you know, this is a very different khaki than I've known in the past. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, you are just like passionate and all hustle. And I was like, dude, yeah, I guess I have really changed. I'm just a lot more driven and I actually have purpose. I have something that I'm passionate about, something that's mine. But yeah, I think that I call 2018 the year of the hustle just in my life. I just, I started this channel, you know, four years ago and for three and a half years, I really didn't do anything with it. I was just kind of like getting my feet under me. I think I was doing my channel like I hoped lightning, just hoped lightning to strike, hoped that lightning would strike. I expected lightning to strike. Like I just had this feeling where I was like, oh no. You know, I'm special. I'm just, you know, I'm a Chamberlain or something and I'm just gonna get like a million subscribers just because I'm me. It was not true. And honestly, if I look back, like, yeah, you know, I don't like hate my content or anything. I'm not gonna take those videos down, but I wasn't putting my all into them. And I really thought that I was going to be able to do that, like not put my all into it, either psychologically or time-wise or anything like that and have it turn into a career. And that just isn't, 
my reality and I don't think that I, from a manifestation standpoint, would have valued it had I gotten those gifts without really earning them. And I also don't mean to sell Emma Chamberlain short. Pet Crawl, yes, she has a lot of subscribers and yes, she is kind of a sensation, but like she's also great. <laughs> There's a reason. It's not like she's, you know, getting a bunch of them that are like unearned. Like she's really, really fun to watch. And so I think that like, you know, I shouldn't make it sound like, oh, you know, lightning struck and you know she got lucky or something. It's like, there's really no such, from the algorithm standpoint, I guess there's luck, but like when you strike gold on YouTube and people keep subscribing, it's because they're watching your videos and because they like your content. There's really no like gaming that. Do people like what you're making? Like when they get to your channel, do they watch your videos and then go wanna watch another video? Like I think that was the hardest part for me was I was so all over the place. I have a lot of interests. I'm a very complex person and I really didn't wanna compromise on any of that. And that's just like not, I don't know if I think about how I want to go to somebody's channel and watch YouTube. With the exception of like the people who I feel like I kind of like know by now, they really focus on like one thing. And I had to just narrow my focus to like one thing. You really are supposed to have your subscribers know what to expect when they get there. Because if they get an alert and it's a thumbnail for like a video that they're just like, I don't, this is not what I subscribed for. Like, what is this? You know, they're either not going to watch or they're going to unsubscribe. Yeah, you open a video and it can surprise you because it like, you know, has a different outcome or it makes you laugh or it's just kind of like a fun, you know, unexpected experience. But I want you guys to still know in essence what you're getting. So yeah, from a creator standpoint, I wouldn't have called myself worthy of being a full-time creator even a year ago. This has been the year of me bringing myself up to the point where I'm ready to receive those gifts of the things that I want. So there's a cat here in my, my coffee. But yeah, when Matt said like, you've changed, like I was like, I have changed. That's, it's good. Um, one of my subscribers just sent me my very first Reddit thread <laughs> about me. <laughs> <laughs> it's all very nice, but hmm, I'm just uncomfortable. I don't know. I have a lot of feelings right now. <laughs> okay. I am in the car. I am going to go in some order. I haven't decided what order yet, but I'm going to go return a bunch of stuff uh, to the mall. Then I'm going to go get a smoothie and then I'm gonna go to therapy and then I'm gonna get my nails done. I'm loving this lip combination right now. Oh my God, this is basically like my favorite lip combo. So my favorite lip liner, my favorite lipstick, the Fenty on top. I like it. Off we go. Somehow. I did it. I managed to do all of those things that were on my list of things to do and to get to my therapy session 15 minutes ahead of time. So I'm all set on that. I'm ready to go into my therapy appointment and talk to my therapist about why I can't sit still. Cool. Awesome. Great. Information about me. <sighs> I just got out of therapy. You guys. I love my therapist so much she's so incredible and she gets me i'm like exhausted right now like winded from talking so much because i just didn't realize how much i had to just like bleh. therapy is so awesome <laughs> i'm not gonna say everybody needs it but honestly there's a therapist out there for everybody <laughs> and like the fact that i could find somebody who gets all of this i'm telling you like she really sees it all. Like I'm, I'm kind of nuts. Like I'm definitely like, so I'm, I am so intense that I really, especially in this season of my life, I have been kind of alienating people because not because I'm like mean or unpleasant or anything like that. I'm just so intense that I kind of like wear people out. She's helping me just kind of like better understand this season of my life. I think I'm gonna go to a Vedic astrologer. Sorry for all you guys who don't like my crystals and stuff, but I think I'm gonna go see a Vedic astrologer just to like better understand the season of my life that I am in right now. Also, can we talk about this foundation? This is the It Cosmetics, the Bye Bye Foundation, but I got it in the right color. It's so beautiful. So that's where I'm at. I'm gonna go get my nails done because um, yes, I'm thinking I'm in like a mode of like a really deep kind of like 
emerald turquoise kind of color. I think that's what we're going to go with. So let's go do that. Hello, I'm home. My nails are done. So I just picked up the mail and we got another Crate and Barrel package, meaning something from our registry. Mike's not here, but I want to open it. I think it's silverware, which means that we could like complete our set. We've been, you know, moving towards adopting this. God bless. <laughs> I ran out of Curology. It's supposed to last two months. Mine lasts about six weeks because I also use it on my chest. So I went through it more quickly than I expected to. My gorgeous, my darling, got goo goo moogies in his eye. So Mike is playing golf right now and he actually just left. So I've got some time to kill. I think what I'm gonna do right now is edit a video, go ahead and get Monday's video done. And then I will take the dog but I'm not gonna say that too loud because I don't want him to get excited because it's not gonna happen for like an hour. And then if I've got time, I'll go for like a run or something. The uh, the lipstick is, is kind of crusting up on me. <laughs> All right, y'all, so. In case you haven't seen that, my outfit today. I'm gonna stop chewing for a second. <laughs> I just got the phone with Mike. We're in Austin. He's all the way up in Leander playing golf. So it's gonna take him like an hour to drive back home. Oh, also, all of the things that I said I was going to do after I got done editing my video, none of those things happened. I did not go for a run and he did not go for a WALK. He just wanted his dinner. This looks terrible. I like my makeup, but I don't like how my lipstick got all crusty. I talked to him and I was like, what do you wanna do when you get done playing golf? And he was like, I just wanna hang out with you. And I was like, built-in best friend. It's nice, it's a nice to have. He's pretty cool, I guess. So I'm gonna go to the store and get something to cook for D-I-N-N-E-R. I can't say that word out loud or he'll think he's getting it again, even though he just ate it. So I just got back from the grocery store. I got a bunch of really good stuff. Mike had a few requests. So I am making a pasta situation with scallops and mushrooms and Parmesan and white wine and cream and butter. And it's gonna be delicious. I got Mike, of course, this gorgeous tagliatelle. And of course, I am going to have gluten-free elbow macaroni because when you're gluten intolerant, pasta is pasta. You find a good pasta and it doesn't matter what shape it is if it actually tastes good. I would rather have a good tasting pasta that looks like highfalutin rice aroni than some cute, tagliatelle that's very obviously like terrible and made out of like you know black beans and like amaranth or something so this being just what corn literally corn it's pretty darn good and this is the da bowls da bowls i'm gonna put it into bowls and i'm gonna eat it with my mouth i have a splitting ass headache because i'm so hungry but there's no like snack in my world that exists and it's too close to dinner anyway so i'm really excited you can have scallops did I mention that there's scallops in it? There's scallops. I paid $17 a pound for them. There will be scallops in the pasta. Saturday night, folks. It's about to get normal. July 17th, buy one, get one free is back at Cabinets to Go. Right now, get a free wall cabinet for every base cabinet you purchase. Manufacturers like Beach Look how cute. It's just more silverware. Sorry, I thought it was those knives, but I'm really excited. I thought it was the knives. This is awesome. This is like, I think we have now a complete one, two, three, four. We have eight place settings now. So it's what I guessed. How do you survive? Like, how do you survive? It's disgusting. Like, he puts his hand, he puts his paws in the litter box. Yeah, dude, and litter is just like nasty pea-soaked clay that is completely water soluble. How is that your preferred means of consuming your hydration? Oh, he's so cute, I wanna eat him up. I wanna punch him. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, he hates him so much. Oh, uh, where's Bruce? Yeah. That stinks. It's still on upstairs. <laughs> what does that mean? Are you sure? Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> 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 you know what? I don't know if it's gonna work. <laughs> All right, my dudes. It is bedtime on Saturday night, and you know what that means. Time to end this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. This was definitely like just a melee of riffraff and nonsense this week. Nothing particularly pivotal in my life, but I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna keep hanging out with me on this channel, hit the button down below and subscribe. I'd love it if you guys did. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. And I know those of you out there who are the fans of the vlogs, I really appreciate you guys. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.